the Securities and Exchange Commission SEC on November 8, 2019, revoked the licenses of 53 fund management companies pursuant to Section 122 Clause 2B of the Securities Industry Act 2016. This was due to the company's failure to refund client monies as well as other infractions. Upon extensive engagement by SEC with the companies, it concluded on revoking the licenses to protect the capital markets and the interest of investors. At the Legacy Fund Management, one of the affected companies, the premises was empty, with two officials in the building claiming to be from the PricewaterhouseCoopers to serve as receivers, but they refused to speak to us. At the Frontline Capital Advisors Limited, the security officers said management had issued an order to them not to permit any media personnel to take shots of the premises. We then visited the First Bank Financial Services Limited, and the situation was no different. At the Nordia Capital and Omega Capital Limited, customers could not be cited at their premises. The notice from SEC on the revocation of the licenses had been posted on the doors of the investment firms with direction to customers on where to channel their grievances or questions to. So, what's going to happen to the over 80,000 clients whose investments running into billions of cities are locked up in these 53 companies? Reverend Dr. Daniel Ogba Mitete, Director General of the Securities and Exchange Commission, SEC, has some answers. The government, you know, has made a commitment mm -hmm. to provide immediate relief in mm -hmm. terms of pro providing some amount of money that can be paid, a capped amount that, that will be paid mm -hmm. to investors, of course, after some validation process, because before the government will make a payout, they'll have to find a basis on which they'll make the payout. So there'll be a validation of those who have investment with these affected firms and then they'll get that immediate relief what we what we did say in our uh, notice was that we will we have notified the the um, registrar general uh, who will petition the court for the power to liquidate these firms the intention or the the reason for that is so that the assets can be ring fenced and uh, re realized and then out of the uh, proceeds of the assets, the clients can again be sorted out. So what government is doing is like an immediate relief that uh, because the, the court process, we can't put a time frame on it. So I'm currently at the office of the Gold Coast Fund Management Limited, which is part of the 53 fund management companies that had their licenses revoked by the Securities and Exchange Commission. Upon our checks to some of the officers this morning, we noticed that they've been shut down pending further directives from the Securities and Exchange Commission on what customers are supposed to do to get their locked up investments. Reporting from Asylum Down, Amni Ayukwe Okaina, City News.